I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to divide and get answer to two decimal places. Let me first congratulate my student Dhruv for excellent performance. Here is your test paper to share with and I will take up some questions from this test paper as example. right? So you can have a good look at the questions in the test paper. You can copy these questions and then practice. right? So that is how you can practice and get 100% marks. Here is how we should divide and get answers to two decimal places. I have taken three examples. They are different kinds and they will they will make you understand the strategies. First question is we need to divide 156 by 3 and remember show the answer to two decimal places. That is kind of critical, right? So the very first one is 156 divided by 3. You cannot divide once. You take two numbers. So you'll divide 15 by 3. You know, 3 times 5 is 15. So when you write 5 in the quotient, 3 times 5 is 15. You have to take away 15 from 15. You get 0 here. Bring down the next number, which is 6. And 3 times 2 is 6. So you get 3 times 2 is 6 the remainder is 0. So your answer is 52. But the question is, show the answer to two decimal places. Since you got 52 as the exact value, your answer should be written as decimal 0, 0. Now 52 and 52.00 both are same things. But 52.00 shows that you have written answer to two decimal places, correct? And therefore, 156 divided by 3, the answer should be 52.00. So you can lose half a mark here, right? That is how you may sometimes lose marks in spite of doing correctly, right? Next one, we'll divide... 1, 2, 8, 9 by 4. I've taken very simple examples. The idea is to understand the concept. You cannot divide once. So you take the next number also. 12 divided by 4. You know it should be 3. So 4 times 3 is 12. So when you take away, you get 0. Bring down the next number, which is 8. 4 times 2 is 8. So there's also 0. Bring down the next number, which is 9. And 4 times 2 is 8. And when you take away 8 from 9, you do get 1. Now, you know that you have to write answers to two decimal places. So it is a good practice even to introduce two zeros right in the very beginning. So that you don't make that mistake. Now we can bring down one zero. Whenever you bring down a number which is after decimal, you should put decimal in the quotient. 10 divided by 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 3 is 12. So you can't use 3. So you can use 2. 4 times 2 is 8. You are left with 2. Bring down the next 0. 20. And it is indeed 4 times 5 equals to 20. Remainder is 0. So in this case, we get 322.25 as our answer. And that is to two decimal places. Perfect. Now let's do the next one. In this particular case, we have 2230 divided by 9. As we said, let us put two zeros right away. Since we have to find answer to two decimal places, you know, we learn slowly. Okay. Now let's divide 22 by 9. 9 times 2 is 18, 3 is 27, which is bigger than 22, so 2 is okay. So 9 times 2 is 18. When you take away 18 from 22, you get 4. Bring down 3. 9 times 5 is 45, slightly more. So we'll use 4. Okay, 9 times 4 is 36. When you take away 36 from 43, what do you get? You get 7. Bring down the next number, which is 0. 9 times 7 is 63. So we'll write 63 here, and then what do we get? We get 7 again. Now, 
is after decimal so put decimal first then bring down the next number which is again 70 70 so we will write 7 again 63 and then again 70 bring down 0 so what you see is that 70 is getting repeated so here you get 7 right so, so it repeats so sometimes you can get answers which repeat now here you could write a small bar on top of it which shows seven repeats right that's another way of writing but we have to write only to two decimal places so what should be our answer so in this particular case our answer should be we have to round to two decimal places and we should write 2230 divided by 9 as equal to 247.78 that is another place where you can lose another half mark and so get just one mark less than the whole do you see that so round it to the second decimal places i hope with this video you learn the technique of dividing whole numbers and writing answers to two decimal places Remember, if it goes further, you have to round. If it is a whole number, you have to add those zeros, right? That should help you to get 100% all the time. Thank you and all the best.